Welcome to part two of the PMI story. The story so far has been revealing and unforgettable. A story of triumph over adversities. This second part shares a bit more of God's turning point with PMI. What really happened in the first six months of PMI in the medical school canteen Kolebu, Accra and thereafter? That six month period was quite hellish because you come one day, the door is locked and the kids have been taken away. Rent is being changed by the day. There's no electricity, so there's no weekday meeting. And, and so you can't have weekday meetings. So to be able to facilitate meetings, you have to be able to bring and tap electricity into the school to be able to even have an instrument playing. And these are part of the challenges. Where then do you keep your instruments? Still at Latabi Okoshi. We finally found a place in nearby where we're keeping the instruments, where they allowed us to come and build mm -hmm. on somebody's land a store to keep the instruments. Immediately we finished building the store, the owner of the house says her daughter is coming from Abroche to come and use the store. So the day we finished building the store, we couldn't even put our instruments there. After we had invested all that money, we had to send our instruments back to Latabio Koshin. We found a place finally nearby where we're paying rent. And so it made it easier then to move that instrument um, back to um, church every day. Mm -hmm. And then Pastor Mansa then um, had to start with the youth ministry and the choir and all the things as a pregnant mother. We came to and also send a Pastor Ben a poor penny. We do go outreach, your poor, your poor head, can I me ask them everywhere? Because I don't know my And I have to travel from Mampovitu, the base. Now, I find also yet there was river. I was there. I joined PMI at a very tender age, if I could remember. I joined when I was very small, and that decision was influenced by my early cousins because they joined the church first. So, at kids, we decided to follow them. And we've remained in PMI since. Um, my decision to remain was basically because PMI offers practical solutions to life daily challenges. And as a young girl growing up, it was the teachings that helped me and various decisions that I made throughout my journey as an adult. Looking at the community where I come from, personally, PMI has um, affected me in so many ways because in my community, you can see a lot of teenage pregnancies everywhere, people dropping out of school. But being in PMI, the teachings I hear every day from my senior pastor help me not to toe that line, but to make decisions that will not derail my future. And I think that those decisions have impacted me positively. We're also Quite broke. Even people who visited us looked down on us and never came back because there was nothing beautiful That's about the church and about us and about our ministry. And, and so in the midst of the loneliness and shame and rejection, what it did was to forge a relationship with God. Yeah. We didn't have friends. We didn't have anybody who wanted to affiliate with us. We didn't have anybody who wanted to be associated with us in a way. But God sent helpers at every stage one of whom was Perpetual mm -hmm. um, from ICGC yeah. who left ICGC and joined us for a period of about six months and became the first announcer in church. Yeah. And, and, and she, that was when we were in the canteen. That was when we were in the canteen. 
and she strengthened us a lot. Um, Pastor T yeah. also then came along and strengthened us and became our friend and even came home to visit us with his wife. Um, we had Pastor Johnson Chaponu, mm -hmm. who was amazing. We didn't know him from anywhere, but he just heard about us and just decided to be our friend and spoke a lot about us and gave us a lot of publicity on Radio Joy FM then mm -hmm. and came and actually looked for us. And it is his wife, Claudia, who became my wife's friend yeah. and became a prayer partner, mm -hmm. praying with them throughout the night and sleeping over and supporting us emotionally and in a lot of ways. And then we had Pastor Chumesi, mm -hmm. who from day one, when he heard that we had started a church and we became a major friend and a source of encouragement. Mm -hmm. And he would always have a kind word and he will always encourage us and will come and fellowship with us, pray with us and strengthen us. In joy PMI uh, 1998, 98, which is 22 years ago, it starts the uh, KG1, the Banku Junction. No one on the so on the PMIG. I am a small bomb. The way I make a bomb relator. I am a small bomb. The bonny came in my ponnabo. The way ne bang more, the way ne a bad welcome boy, or Naka Shilele, or Yashina, or Naka Shilele, or feel we cook. Near PMI, it fit Jomo a hand can be. A jacket troop here, my name can be near Bane. I'm a teaching snip, Pastor Oscar can harm me. Can Auntie Sandra advise near harm me, you say? Mene, in the academy, Tabia, and Epon be by a chassis. See, Mene, in be a chassis in a scholarship, hundred per cent scholarship. Say, troop here, my mean that was so for. Nupa, Niji Pastor Bernard ke enna. I love you all. I love you and I'm always grateful. Me Danishim, ye nimi baba o ye teachings ye siumo ye solemo ye support. Feeling ye ke ha anti viki ke weku kasa fufu inke ye yuradon. I remember the dawn prayer meetings we had for I think about four three years. four years. You know, every time we prayed about the church. We prayed about PMI in the in the future. We prayed about our families. We prayed about uh, everybody came up with what they were going through. I mean, it prayer, was became our, Susie, prayer became yeah. our language. That was, that was all we could live you know, for. We just prayed. And God was the only person we could speak with yeah. who could understand us, why he had called us into such chaos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. so every morning from 4 a.m. to around 6 a.m. for about four or five years, every single day, Monday to Sunday, we were praying. And sometimes we had to leave home early mm -hmm. and by 6 a.m. and come to church, come and sweep the place because there was no department, mm -hmm. no ashes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we were the ashes, we were the prayer warriors, we were the teachers, we were the greeters. Do everything by ourselves because there was no reliable person who could then become an usher or a prayer warrior. Yeah. So if you didn't do it yourself, then it meant it wasn't done. And everybody who came saw himself as a volunteer and not a member. And it was going to take quite a while to even stabilize and have a few people who will be committed to you. And since many of the people who came were children and, and, and young people who were unemployed, there was no offering, there was no tithe to show any commitment. <laughs> you rather had to look after people right from day one. And so looking after people is not something we just started today. Mm -hmm. It's been part of the major yeah. character traits of Pastor Manza and myself and the church. It's, it's not just a program we are doing, mm -hmm. it's our life. Yeah. And that is why we are able to do all our social interventions without looking for anything. PMI is a church that is not just inward looking, we also look outward. So there are various interventions that we have. We have the Read for Life, where we try and get the cluster of schools around and help them in their reading, their writing for a brighter future. We have the Meal for Life, where we extend a helping hand to them hungry in the community. We have the H2O project where we seek to the health and the hunger needs of the community. So PMI is a totally rounded church where we receive from God and we give out back to the community. And it's very important because Jesus taught us that we shouldn't just love ourselves but we should love our neighbor also. And that is an important trait that characterizes PMI. What we are saying is that 
if we should have such an individual or such a ministry in Choco or in Ablikuma South who will facilitate and bring the ministry down to our doorsteps. We believe that within a short possible time, there's going to be a transformation that, that has never happened in the lives and on the land of Choco and Ablikuma South. It was amazing how God brought relationships our way to strengthen us. Some of the people we can speak about in the classroom um, are Reverend Tim Brew, yes. who amazing, amazing friendship built over the years. He just poured himself out into powerhouse and came over to minister to us when nobody really wanted to come to church. And the other person whose friendship has been amazing is Bishop Emmanuel Akon and his wife, Gina Akon. They didn't know us from anywhere, but they were invited to come and minister at one of our MMNI programs when I was actually out of the country through Reverend Daniel Chumisi Eboa. And, and when I came back, um, he came over and then we met and it's been a bonding from day one and it's been an amazing journey of friendship and we owe a lot to him. Um, I remember the day Bishop came to minister, somebody called me and says, someone like Bishop Akon will never come to a classroom church and mm -hmm. we're lying. Mm -hmm. But true to who he is, he came over and he poured out his heart and ministered to us and, and struck an amazing friendship with us, he and his wife. All the questions that I had concerning being a pastor's wife, what do you do? How do you relate with the members and all? I asked Auntie Gina, I asked her about how to, you know, um, socialize with people, how to dress, what to do. You know, so she, she taught me a lot of things and and also learned from observation, you know, maybe when we went out to programs or events, you know, observed how the women, you know, coped in, in the meetings or how they related with their husbands and all. I also did a lot of research how to support your husband. You know, at one point in time in the ministry, I became frustrated because I kept asking, what is this, you know? And there was one point that I, I, I told I said, look, I wasn't born to be a pastor's wife because the, the stakes were high. But Auntie Gina guided me, you know, she showed me some of the things and I really thank God for Auntie Gina's life. The Bible said, many are called of you are chosen and if I should be very sincere with you I want to say that knowing Pastor Bernard and the wife I can easily or confidently say that they are amongst the few that are chosen and because people that God chooses are people that are people of his, his heart the apple of his eyes and they've exhibited it Seriously, their lifestyle and everything did exhibited the fact that God had called them for a purpose. And we, I would say that maybe we are also privileged to be associated with them for what God wants to do in our time, in our generation. And so we thank God for how fire has brought them, the church itself, and then the pastor and the wife. Because it's not easy, it's really, really not easy to lead people. And for that matter, to say that God called you to come and lead other called of God. 
for them to believe in you, for them to trust what you say, that God is saying it, and all that, it's not been easy. But I believe that God, knowing what you call them to do, has graced them and has brought them this far. I'm so happy for that. As we celebrate a quarter of the century, may your commitment be strengthened to do more for the commission as you extend your strength to God's servant and his wife. And also, I want to wish the church, the members, the leadership, especially um, Reverend Benadiakwa and the wife, a happy anniversary. 25 years is no joke. Happy anniversary. And uh, the Lord who has brought you thus far, take you beyond here Amen. and make the rest of your ministries be the very best of your ministry. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Happy anniversary. I had this lady in the workplace, Mildred, Mrs. Agu. She helped me a lot because you take the weight of the church and you take it to work. And when the issues at work were too much, she was also because she was going to um, action. action. So then she told me that, see, don't worry, we'll pray together. You know, she was the shoulder I could cry on. And, and she was somebody who loved unconditionally. And I could express myself without looking back. And one of the things, therefore, that we began to do was to joke a lot. Yeah. You know, because the pressure. It, yeah. Today I joke a lot and you think I'm a nice person. But it was the pressure yeah. of ministry that let us begin to see the light side of things and yeah. make fun of very serious things and, and jokingly laugh over it because um, you don't have anybody to go and talk to. Mm -hmm. As a senior pastor, everybody expects you to know. Everybody expects you to behave well. Mm -hmm. Everybody expects you to have. And when you are pressure, you need money, you are, you are in debt, you can't pay your bills. Mm -hmm. Who do you even go and ask? So you just learn to make light of things. And the good thing was for us to build a bond mm -hmm. of friendship just beyond being a husband and a wife yeah. that has kept us through um, the challenges of life, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, and so you, you, you learn to see the light side of things. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that also helps is to have people around you who you can talk all your nonsense yeah. without having to look back. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I have amazing friends who... You can joke and just shout and laugh and they don't judge you yeah. and, and they won't say what you said behind you, mm -hmm. but you are just you. Yeah. And God has blessed us with those amazing um, friends who are around us who can just lighten our way. In the classroom, there were some highlights at the time, like um, the bazaar. We brought our things together, our clothes, our shoes. We sold them at a cheap um, price so that people in the community could buy something and then also to raise funds for the church. And then also we had a musical program. We invited Soul Winners, we invited Jude Lobote, and then Alabaster Box. It was, it, was a, it was a very nice meeting in the classroom. So in the, the classroom where it was a period of stability because it gave us a little respite where we could focus. And so we started with crusades, outreaches, mm -hmm. outdoor mm -hmm. crusade mm -hmm. events that would announce our presence to the community and at the same time win souls. That, that was very hectic because we didn't also have structured leadership that would handle cells and a lot of other things and they were not trained. So I remember during the daytime, mm -hmm. we had to get some people over to my house to start a kind of a Bible school, even in the midst and daily meetings whilst the, uh, the, the church office was there to also occupy our cell. Mm -hmm. And then we also launched uh, the Marriage Ministry, Ministry Network, Network International, International, which was um, a program to empower families and marriages. Because at that time, I was also the only married person in the church. Oscar wasn't married, no other church member was married. Everybody was young and didn't even know anything about relationships. So we had to um, guide them yeah. with our experience and also put, put out an abstinence drive um, to help the young people who were laden with a lot of sexual immorality and to curb the, 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 the prevalence of teenage pregnancy, which was rife among them. And so the abstinence drive was a foremost thing, which also led to the Marriage Ministry Network International to guide relationships into fruition of marriages. And, and that became the mainstay of the church. Um, there were a lot of other programs we mm -hmm. did as incursions into the community. We had to start looking after people um, 
paying fees, right? Even when we didn't have anything. Jesus Christ is here. Jesus Christ is here. He 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 is ni bon oketu o o wala sine ke o ma reje wo gbun asine mi kolego no woje wo le be ni kolego no gbun asine mi yo e ha aba nya ainsi 3 years 2 years bodo ba ile se e apa wo yen 1987 wo yen ni nu ne lele ni wo bote power house ni mi e lele wo fi ko wedding ye ni bodromo na ni wo ba chi wo benkele e han je mi wo ba fi wo wedding ye je mi wo fi wo no fi ano you know, Dromona, she ain't why I ain't work before for now. New work, that's here. Encouragement, care here while any, I mean, we walk many, and it will be a session, ye any, a sacca, Messia. Ne, Lele, and Cacho, a no, walk a me, ne, San, walk a machina. Like a bemen, eh? You know, your colleague, no, they have a dog a mena machina. She, ye know, Dromona, no walk away, Asia for lay, no walk a lele, walk away, a whoop our house, eh? Lele, you know, Dromona, na any. What was she? After a while, there was pressure um, to leave where we were in the classroom because um, it was getting too much coming to church and finding that the place had been rented to other churches during major seasons of the of, of Christians like Easter conventions. or Easter conventions or Christmas conventions. Yeah. Other people would come and stay in the classrooms and later the place and whilst we, we ejected them just to meet, they were cooking all outside and making noise. And other churches started nearby who were booming their speakers into mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And, and we knew that we had to move. So by the grace of God, we, we, we started looking for a place to buy as our own. And God being so good, um, Auntie Vic, who is no longer with us, she's departed to be the Lord, mother of Anita and Mambi and Co, yeah. and finally managed to look for a place for us where we are now. And it was an amazing, uh, huge, Price. Then it was over 250 million CDs. And a church in a classroom that even didn't have an account of then 1,200 CDs. Mm -hmm. How do you raise 250 million? But God being so good, we managed to sell a few properties and borrow monies and make a deposit for that land. Yeah. And eventually we paid it off through the sacrifices of a few other people who were generous um, to us. But Virtually selling everything we had just to be able to move the church from where we are yeah. and coming into this place. In the summer for the past 20 years, I made a hitch and start building. I start building. Young young boys come to Jimmy and you around them. I start to work. I then I'm like, let's say I can plywood. The one you be in the boy say, Ba ya ba ya. Na can tell me you born no wa ni ya story be a ne walk. I mean ba saw me and ba you ni be. She can na but na me hear for keni ni ya over cut ke two alone three. E ke be kwe ha me chake ya me me chake ya me choose ni be ko me le mu in ha me story be kwa me hear ni be story. Wo hear me a hu few 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 na ba fe ke she ko. I must start some more. We can be a uh, some more. Be a shiny jihina few ye. Nick ye be near a boon some more, if you may be a name. Drum okay, me hill your neighbor will be a name. Can we be, can we not be new man say JB Bugla? Cash is that? Oh, Pastor Baffin, ye need stroppy, stroppy. 
na chin bi e ni ke bi e ni ni ke ke chon chon ko man pro bi ko le gono ni fe i invite all you there be na fe picnic se a fe show me strut strut we agbe ni no se ni ni e ni le o le o ba nyo ja o ba 10 times ko la ndo o ba no o ba ye ni be ni so mo ni ba bi anu college ya ke ni bi e cha ke de nche ni wo mami o ji e e ke e da na nyo mo sha ke so mo ni ba je bi e e ka e ja ke ke ba je bi e ni sugbe wo na college ono zo wo ya bi e ni from the home science block of the current new koju abebiu junior high schools we transitioned to our current location, the King's Temple, just by the Kolegono Tuesday Market. The land was bare, but fenced as if it's been reserved for the church. Then the litigation and escapades started, with the landowner almost changing his mind. But we were already on the land. The story unfolds with the steady progress of the building from 2002 till now. It wasn't an overnight miracle, but a gradual progression into the will of God each day. And the Lord has blessed the church as it proved itself to be faithful with a little at its disposal. After seven years of ministry, we managed to buy this prime property yeah. at the colleague on our Tuesday market. And we eventually moved here and celebrated our seventh anniversary here in an open shed with the late Paddy Brew and Bishop Akon yeah. coming to help us cut the sword. And after that, uh, it was a slow progression. We had to now gather the youth and have come meetings. One of the things we realized was that a lot of the people here were not trained. They were very uh, superstitious. There was no training for anybody and people just came to church and misbehaved and did anything uh, by their natural senses. And so one of the focus of the church had to be now training and with a lot of the youth in this area who were unemployed and virtually dropped out of schools, the focus had to be on Absolutely. education and abstinence. And, and it's, it became one of the major drives because we looked at the future. We started by speaking in the local language, but we realized that that was defeatist because the people, if they were going to have a future, had to lift themselves beyond the poverty level of the area. What better way to lift them out of poverty than pursue a drive for education and so one of the major drives was to send them to school and also to push them to pass exams either to most of them just dropped out after GHS yeah. but with a very persistent drive they were now motivated to go beyond GHS into SHS and even go into the university mm -hmm. and the challenge we had was um, our children happened to be the oldest yeah. and were the people going to school so they had to also serve as motivation and pull the rest along and be able to go to school. Otherwise, the whole church was going to be a bunch of illiterates who were going to be frozen by the environment. You couldn't teach them new concepts because they couldn't read. They would just come to church and sleep. And so after a lot of uh, meditation and prayer and counsel, we decided to abandon for a while the local language and drive English language as a language of development. And the only way to do that was to send people to school, help them speak well, help them dress well, help them appreciate the finer things of life. So our music also had to change, moving away from the local um, uh, pedestrian type of music into playing very complex uh, specialist type of music where Pastor Manza then took over the choir and began to drive into certain type of songs that required personal improvement. And so over a period, the face of the church began to change. Inke Powerhouse International China Bemini Oblimboni could you have a puny genu? Then na it's a ma we tea basomo 
to me a powerhouse, a a few bijou. What by Jemmy Benny Usofu Kenga, a mangy, a me bijou. What by Jemmy Benny, a bijou, cook me. More can you can you have me a fee in Moke, more a fee a pane. Cow pla da fee. We are somewhere a powerhouse. A polygon. Powerhouse, as a fool, it's a more as a fool name in Jaya, me, me, Methodist Church. A many female care of a Bijano to a care Methodist Church, Bijano to the Bama team. Yaga assured me of you more, Jemmy. No name, I as a fool name, it's just a fool name. A ya a year. A fife, a fino by Jemmy, Loco he, a chucky, Yamme, so much way, Bejano too. Loco he, a chucky, Jay, I make Bejano to me. Loco he, a chucky, Yammy, follow me. Jagabe, as a fukuni, a da. In Kao, a fee, a no more, no cassene, knew what is or more a kuna kind. Dan Wabaya. Watch any ena eco eighteen energy of a bonny could you have a view? A car was soon be I. Ne no mere one quack, but yano too. Ne yano a collegon. Kell, so money what in yourself, you lay. What eco and one nacker, be agbene, so more bonny yano. Besani, I will let him wallet. What kind of manche make us suffer with you? Like a war, new war, man be a here. You mumble for a name, you were him okay, leave it up. When you are me here, Kesani be Kehaman Noya. One man can in a papa or sofu Bernard, a de aqua, a mean. One I a be naked chuni a king at it, one I fair yam. Jamel was so your counsel like a bear. What will I say? Niji, what will I go? Ni, I can a cake, Manchama, Benane, I can know ya manche. Minigi know ya manche, know ya g development, cock, I care of for me. Nini, who suffer naked as I will be true. The colleague can quit your call, can quit my dear cook, many petty choco, niji, chemo, and I quick a heavy beer. Be a sa, Nija, I will and I can he wale. Benuno, comes a ledum, me, I can a can bena, Halle, I can can you form a bigilla moon, near a jibena, Shabbana, Kaji, a brofog, a ma. A aplati can be near your so more here. A cashy bear near. Nippy near one knock and a gin no ya, nippy a gin. Not call no quest, more knock palai, knock and more he could. Now Mokuno here for Gile. Nay, Nakache, Ninisha, Naka, Bile ya School, Kia Shoiko, Pastor, a little reverend. Bena ni adi akwa. Emo mo bi gbi ne ni pala me. Di ka me dumo heku ko na me chumo gbe me wose. Maka ke afi o afi. Afi na akwe o. Ko ni gbi kupa ni ji pa anyo ani na wo. Wo fe mo mo. Asafu e e ya no ni e ye afi ni mo enyo ke enu mo eku e fata yi ka ahu e e ka e e ya ka si bi ni yesu baba e goji ami ale ki asi e fe he ni e ba nye chose me ni amadomo asafu e na e ka e le chose mambi e ka e ni ake ganyo fo mo bi osofu Ekai ne yano. Mo fe mo ni yo so mo mi ayano. Ke ashi bini nyumbo. 
Lamentations 3 verse 36 and 37 says, To subvert a man in his cause, the Lord approveth not. Who is he that seeth, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commanded it not? This scripture was, and still is, reflective of the mood and move of the church, so much that the PMI vision, mission, and philosophy was clear and well focused. Come to us, we come. 